not going to take a lot of time, but we're honored to have uh, Sister Pat with us today. Amen. And uh, uh, it's just been a joy over the years to have her in our lives. And I know she's going to uh, minister to our spirit today. So would you do me the honor and let's stand on our feet and welcome Sister Pat today to the pulpit as she prepares to bring the word of God to us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor. Praise the Lord. Wonderful is the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So grateful that we can praise his holy name. Amen. 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 Be in his presence and follow him. Praise God. Like he is like no other. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can be seated. Thank praise you, God. Thank well, you know, I, uh, <laughs> I was telling Michelle this is real interesting for me <laughs> today. I, you know, I had studied and thought I had prepared what God wanted, <laughs> wanted me to teach and um, actually it was Friday night he began to talk to me about um, another subject or not another subject but another aspect uh, of teaching and I said well Lord I taught that last time I was there and he said so <laughs> <laughs> and I said well I, you know, and, and then I, I just couldn't get, I just thought, no, I, I know, that's just my imagination. You know how you do. Because when you know you've taught something before to where you've been, you know, you know, <laughs> this is human nature. You don't want them to think that's the only thing you know. <laughs> but thank God the Holy Spirit is one main thing I know. But, um, anyway, so yesterday afternoon I just got myself quiet before the Lord and was praying and listening to him. So we're going to teach what I taught last, t last time I was here. Praise so God. I think that maybe, uh, maybe we just need to open our hearts and say, okay, Lord, what did I not hear last time that I need to hear this time? And how many of you know the Spirit of God always brings out things that Amen. he did not bring out before <laughs> as, as you're coming forth and teaching forth the Word of God? Amen. Amen. So... Anyway, I um, taught last year, uh, I hope I can find it here, uh, from um, my Bible. My Bible, you guys, is falling apart. <laughs> so I, I need to have it rebound, and, but I don't, I don't want to do without it to get it rebound. <laughs> you know, it's your go-to Bible. <laughs> but anyway... Anyway, so as I was, I was looking at this, and I thought, well, Lord, I, I know that you have some things to say to them that was not said before. So we're going to talk about the love of God Amen. and who God is Praise God. in our lives. And, and uh, he is love, yes, yes. first and foremost. And I said this last time. He said this to me. He said, I am love and I operate in faith. And he said, that's how I created you. You are to imitate me. You are to be like me. So you are love. And he said, I gave you a measure of faith. And he said, so you are to uh, walk in faith and operate by faith. Praise God. And as you, as you walk forth in that, then you will be developing yourself as I am. So that's what... <laughs> What um, what he said, and so that's I think that's important that we take heed to that Amen. and listen to to what he is saying to us because thank God we're no longer under the curse or under the law because of Jesus. God. And and you know uh, Jesus <laughs> brought us back to God's original intention. Amen. And what was that fellowship with Him? Yeah. <laughs> fellowship with Him. And, and I read this last time in Ephesians 5, 1. It says, therefore be imitators of God as dear children. And if you're going to be an imitator of God, then you have to be as he is. Amen. And he said, I am love. <laughs> and uh, I think that it, it, it's, it's important that we understand that. And I think one of the greatest indicators, actually, that we are growing in our relationship with God is finding out that we have a willingness to love. Amen. We have a willingness to love. God is love. It's just not something he does. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Praise 
God. It's who he is. So I think we're never more godly than when we're operating in that love in who he is. Yes, ma'am. Praise God. And another scripture I think is important for us to understand is Matthew uh, 22, 37 through 39. And said, Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. Mind. This is the first commandment in the law. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. So, I think that a lot of times it's easy for us to say, Well, I love you, Lord. Oh, I love you, Father God. But we struggle with loving our neighbor. And you know, I don't think that our neighbor is just the person next door to us. <laughs> I think that our neighbor uh, is, is um, the world. Yeah. Because he said, go into all the world and preach the gospel, Amen. the good news. Amen? So I think that uh, we include our family. We can include, of course, our neighbors, our world that we live in. But at the same time, we have to look at ourselves as God intended us for us to be here on the earth, and that is to imitate him, to be as he is, to everybody that crosses our path. You know, God puts people in your path for purposes <laughs> and, and for reasons that sometimes we don't even know. But that person at that time needs something that I have. So I have to be king to the spirit. I have to be operating as God is. And that's because that's who I am. As, as Pastor said, you know, the kingdom of God is on the inside of you. He said, when, when you receive me, not only do I come to abide with you, but the Holy Spirit and the Father God. Amen. So if you've got God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit abiding within you, that makes you complete. Because we are complete in Him, yeah. so we can function and be who God says. Amen. And who God is here on this earth, showing forth, not myself, but the Father God and the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. But it all stems around and circles around love. Yeah. Love. Amen. The Bible plainly says that faith operates by love. Amen. You know, there's been lots of times over the years when Buddy and I would minister, and even now, that <clears throat> there would be things that the Spirit of the Lord would lead me to do, and but there were other things that he would say definitely to do, but there were other things that you just, you just had this love rise up within you for that person or, or whatever, and you used to allow that love to rise up and, and follow forth and operate in that love. Yeah. And, and as a result, people are helped and blessed and, and changed. And so uh, it, it, it's, it's just important that we see how God intends us to be. Yeah. He intends us to be like him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. So I don't know how far we'll get on this because I know that, um, you know, the Lord always says things that uh, brings things to you that aren't in your notes. <laughs> but <clears throat> one of the things when I was studying on this particular sermon in this particular time and I really emphasized this last time but I have to emphasize it again was 1 Corinthians 13 and you know I think the reason that we need to emphasize this is because uh, not only is this, this the Father God but it is the Lord Jesus and it is you and me and this, if we, you know, I told you that the Lord had me studying on love for two years. And he started me out with this verse, this, this uh, scriptures right here. And I quoted these scriptures every day for two years. Till it was a part of me. That's why it's important for meditation. Meditation is you quote, you, you meditate on that scripture. You quote that scripture. You declare that scripture until that scripture you know is a part of you. And when you open your mouth, it comes out. <laughs> and it's truth in your life, and it operates as truth in your life. 
So he said, go to 1 Corinthians 13, 4, 8, from the very beginning. And it says this, Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself and is not puffed up. Love does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, and thinks no evil. Love rejo- does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Hallelujah. That's who God is. That's who God is. That's how he operates. That's how he thinks. That's what he does. That's how he does. Right here. And then when he said that to me, and I was just praising him after I, I read it and thanking him that he was love, and, and, and he said, I'm not done. And he said, everywhere the word love is, or the word love is understood, put Jesus. So I read it that way. So let's read it that way. Jesus suffers long and is kind. Jesus does not envy. Jesus does not parade himself and is not puffed up. Jesus does not behave rudely, does not seek his own, is not provoked, and thinks no evil. Jesus does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Jesus bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Jesus never fails. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. (laughs) Praise God. And again, I was just rejoicing, and God said, I'm not done. He said, now, everywhere the word love is, or it's the understood subject, put your name. I swallowed real big. <laughs> and I thought, wow, you know, but I, I did it. I said, Pat suffers long and is kind. Pat does not envy. Pat does not parade herself and is not puffed up. Pat does not behave rudely, does not seek her own, is not provoked, and thinks no evil. Pat does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in truth. Pat bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. I took another real deep breath, (laughs) a gulp, and I said, Pat never fails. Okay, and we look at that and we think, how can that be? Well, you know, we think of it and we look at it as the outward person. But God is saying to us, that is who you are. You are a spirit being alive unto me, and you have received Jesus, and he is your life. So that's who you are, and that's how you can operate and how you are to be. Amen. Praise God. And you can yeah. if you follow forth Amen. with the Word and with the Holy Spirit and have a desire and the willingness to be as God is here on the earth yeah. and not as you want to be, <laughs> but as God is in you and through you. Amen? Yeah. So God. <clears throat> after two years of, of, of declaring that every day, That was a part of me. And that's why there's so much in the word about the renewing of your mind. Because the more you confess those words, that the word of God, the truth, or declare that truth, the more it becomes a part of you. It's living on the inside of you. And you know it. And you're exercising in it. Amen? (laughs) And we have to get our minds renewed to that. You know? That is in me. That's what I believe. That's who I am. That's how I am. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. And, and this day, love is so important. Yes. Why is it so important? Because hate is so prevalent. Yes. And understand this. God is love. Satan is hate. Yeah. Right. Understand that? God is love. Satan is hate. God operates in faith. Let's put it this way. God is love and he operates in faith. Satan is hate and he operates in fear. Can you see that? And, 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 And begin to have understanding of that. That's why we're not to operate in fear and be in fear because we are of God and he is love. So we're to to. Uh, walk in love and operate in faith and, and, and exercise the rights that we have in our authority in the Lord Jesus Christ. 
gracious, gracious, gracious. <laughs> you know, I, sometimes I just think, Lord, 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 help us, help us, help us. <laughs> Oh, my, my. It, 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 I guess it just really disturbs me as how much of the church has been deceived. Amen. The church world as a whole has been, has, has been deceived. That just really upsets me and bothers me because it shows me that they are not following God, but they're following the news, they're following this, they're following that. They're in fear. They're operating in fear. You know, it, it, it's, it's really difficult. But when you know who you are in God and you know the Word of God, then there's no reason to fear. Praise God. There's no reason to fear. Because love overrides fear every time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Every time. Because actually love is light and fear is dark. So we need to uh, recognize these things and, and begin to meditate on them so that we get a clear understanding of it and understand that we are operating in it. Amen? Amen. And one of the things I want you to see here is in Galatians, the fifth chapter. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to read the uh, 16th and 17th verse. It says, I say then, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. So what he's saying to us here is walking in the Spirit is what keeps us from fulfilling the lusts of the flesh. Amen. But what I want you to get out of this as well is and see is that the flesh is an inhibitor to our spiritual growth. Yeah. The flesh is an inhibitor to our spiritual growth because the flesh is always fo focusing on the carnal and what was and and what if, and all these kind of things. It's all focusing on carnal tendencies. And, and uh, a lot of times, these inclinations, these inclinations are most immediate <laughs> when the believer is desiring to live a life <clears throat> under the empowerment and, and, and with the control of the Holy Spirit. And, you know, you can't... Uh, you can't, uh, you can't yield to the flesh and walk in the Spirit at the same time. Right. It's one or the other. Praise God. One or the other. Yes. So, as we just read, <laughs> you can't do this by desire alone. Because he said here, he said, the spirit, the flesh wars. Uh, the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. So, just desiring to do something and do good, you can't do it if you're not yielding to the Holy Spirit and walking in the Spirit of God and listening to Him and having an abiding relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ and continually unctioning to. Uh, submitting to the unctions and promptings of the Holy Spirit in your life. This is what keeps victory in our life. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like Philippians 1.9 in the New Living Translation. It says, I pray that you lo your love will overflow more and more Amen. and that you will keep on growing in knowledge and understanding. So in other words, the more your love grows, the more you're going to be walking and growing in knowledge and understanding. God. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. God. Why is that? Because the more your love grows, that's you growing in God. <laughs> and the more you grow in God, the more knowledge and understanding you will have. Right. Praise God. And I, 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 I'm so grateful for that and so thankful that he brought that to us and gave that to us so that we could walk victorious 
here on the earth. You understand that God, that Jesus has already defeated the enemy. He is a defeated foe. He is defeated. He has been defeated. And we're not trying to defeat the devil. We are here on this earth to progress and to go forth with what God has said and what God has already done for the world to know who God is. Amen. <laughs> We're not here just to be here. God does everything with purpose. And he purposely puts you on this earth to follow him, to go forth with the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, to free mankind from doubt and fear and bring them into love and faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's victory. Yes. Glory to God. Glory. That is victory. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. My, 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 my. <laughs> Woo. Hallelujah. Thank God for his word. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. Thank God that he loves us. That he has done so much for us. And he said, Jesus got the victory for you. All you have to do is read my word, know my promises, receive them, and walk in them. They are yours. I did it for you. So you receive them. You accept them. You receive them. And you walk in them. They're yours. They are yours. He gave them to you. Jesus paid a high price for you to be able to fellowship with the Father and know what the Father has done for you through Jesus Christ and to walk in that victory. How much more should we allow the love of God or who God is, love to work in and through us to reach others and allow them to come into the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ of who he is so we can walk in freedom and victory and understand that they are not victims. Hallelujah. I am not a victim. I am a victor. Hallelujah. Victorious in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Those are the things that should be coming from your mouth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo. My, 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 my. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Then, <coughs> excuse me. In 1 John 4, 18, he says this. He says, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. And you know, when you look at this, it says, Fear involves torment. Term, torment. <laughs> I mean, you know, that means terror. That means dread. That means flight. You know, uh, that means that you just want to run away from everything because you're in such fear. But he said, there is no fear in love. He said, perfect love casts out fear. What does that mean? That word perfect means mature. That means that you're mature in love. That means that you have, have understanding of the word and you've allowed the Holy Spirit to work yes. in you so that you are maturing in who God is and you are more like him every day. Praise Therefore, God. there is no fear in me because I am in love. Glory Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Aren't you grateful for that? He's so good to us. He is so good to us. Praise the Lord. Let me see if I can get a sip of this water. <laughs> praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Don't you love the Word? <laughs> Don't you love the Holy Spirit? I tell you, the more I talk about the Word, the more excited I get. The joy of the Lord just rises up within you. Why? Because you're full of the Word and full of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Another scripture that the, that the Lord has given us is 2 Timothy 1.7. Yes. 
And this says, for not God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. So what's he saying? He said, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but he has given us the spirit of power, the spirit of love, and the spirit of sound mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what do we have within us? We have the power of God through the Holy Spirit working in us, enabling us to walk forth as victors on this earth. And then second, we have the perfect or the mature love of the, God, of the Father God in our lives through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And his Hallelujah. abiding presence. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And then what does it say? A sound mind. That means we have the mind of Christ by which we can always make sound choices according to God. Amen. The choices we make through the word of God are sound. Yes. And we have that ability. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And in the Greek, sound mind means this. Safe thinking. Good judgment, yes. discipline, discipline thought patterns, and the ability to understand and make right decisions. It includes the qualities of self control and self discipline. Mm -hmm. So, no longer can you say, Well, I just, I just can't, I can't do that. I just can't, dis I can't do myself. I can't do that. Yes, you can. You have, through the Word of God, the power of God, the love of God, you have the mind of Christ through Lord Jesus Christ and you can make sound decisions and you can be a disciplined person. Amen. Thank you. God. Disciplining yourself into the ability to be what is right, to do what is right, Amen. to judge what is wrong and to walk in the rightness or the righteousness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, it's one thing for God to say that you're righteous through the Lord Jesus Christ, and it's another thing for you to understand what that means and how to walk in it. Amen. You know, and you need to check up on yourself and see if you're walking in righteousness. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah, you're righteous, but are you walking in it? Mm. Wow. Yeah. That's another thought pattern there. Yeah. Hallelujah. Think on that. Think on those things. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I can have self-control and I can have self-discipline. I remember one time we were in a meeting in, in Detroit with my dad. and <clears throat> Buddy and I, that's my husband, late husband, were at the back because we had to take care of the book table and all different kinds of things. And we were sitting at the back and this lady, a fruit rose up in front of us. My father was already up ministering and she just started yelling and doing all this stuff. So my, my husband ushered, uh, uh, nodded to the ushers to go tell her, you know, to be quiet that she was interrupting the service. And so they did, and she quieted down for a few minutes. And the usher came back and said, well, she couldn't help it. She can't help it. It's the Holy Ghost. And Buddy said, yes, she can help it. <laughs> so so uh, she started again. So <clears throat> the usher said, ma'am, you need to quiet down. You're disrupting the service. If you don't quiet down, we'll have to take you out. And by then, we could hear her. And she said, I can't help it. It's the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost making me do this. And uh, the usher again said, ma'am, no, he isn't. You, you need to quiet down. Be quiet, or we'll have to take you out. And she started up again. So an usher got on either side of her and started to take her out. And of course, then she could be quiet. She just shut her mouth and just went limp. So they had to drag her, you know, almost. Because, and I thought, she couldn't stop it because make a Holy Ghost make her, but she could do it when they started, she could stop it when they started yeah. taking her out. Yeah. <laughs> the Holy Ghost does not make you do anything. Amen. It's your choice. That's right. That's right. But at the same time, you have to recognize uh, what's happening, you know. Usually a person like that is wanting to be seen and heard. <laughs> and and uh, it's not necessary, especially when the word, of, the word is being taught and coming forth for the people that are there that have come to receive. Yeah. The Holy Spirit does not interrupt himself. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. Especially with foolishness. <laughs> Amen. 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 So we need to recognize that. We can have self-control and we can have... Uh, 
self-discipline. Yeah. And we can have disciplined thought patterns. Amen. 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 Praise God. And we do have the ability to make right decisions. Right. Praise God. <laughs> so I, I just, I just want to admonish us Glory. to just meditate on this, on these scriptures and especially this uh, 2 Timothy 1, 7, because there's just a lot in that one little scripture okay. when you study it out and look at it because it talks about you being uh, under the power or in the power or you have the power of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, you are no longer a victim. Amen. God. Amen. 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 And it's through the Holy Spirit that you are a victor. And I've already mentioned that, but again, the perfect love or the mature love of God is poured out in our lives through the Lord Jesus Christ and His presence, His abiding presence. I don't know about you, but I'm aware every day of the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. I think I told the ladies yesterday, you know, I don't go anywhere without the peace of God and the presence of God. Praise God. I have that knowing within me. I'm walking in the peace of God. I'm walking in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His presence is with me everywhere I go, and His peace is with me everywhere I go, whatever I'm doing. Amen? And we have that because of Jesus. (laughs) Hallelujah. And then it is grown in us, or we grow in that by the Holy Spirit. Praise God. So, yes... We can be who God says we are. We are love, but we also can mature in that love. Amen? Amen? Amen. Praise God. So that when someone is having an issue or something unfortunate happens to a person, you know, our automatic thing is, oh my goodness, we need to help that person. We need to pray for that person. We need to see if we can help them in some way instead of saying, oh, well, they deserve it. They got what they deserve. That's not godly. That's right. And that's definitely not God. God has never said to you, well, that's just the way it is. That's what you deserve. Has he? No, no thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. He has not. So we need to uh, see that uh, we need to be who he says we are. <laughs> Amen. In power, in strength, in glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, if you want to see the glory of God, then you get yourself before God, and you get before with the Word, and you put the Word in you, and you allow the Holy Spirit to grow you and to mature you in the, thing, the things of, of God, of who He is, and you see the glory because the glory is inside you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and He's going to come forth. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise you, Father. So we need to walk as love. What does that mean? That means that we proceed and make our way here on this earth as God is. Glory to God. Did you get that? Amen. We need to walk as love. That means that we proceed and we advance and we make our way here in this earth as God is. Because we are to be like him or imitate him. Be like he is. Does that mean we're God? No. But it does mean that we are to be like him and we can be like him. Because he created us that way. So that he made man from the dust of the earth and then he what? Breathed his spirit into them. (laughs) <laughs> so if you have his spirit in you, then you can be like him. And that's what he desires and what he wants from you and how we should walk every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. Praise God. Every day consistency is the key, folks. Amen. Consistency is the key. I oh my goodness. <laughs> Ooh, my, 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 my. I, 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 I get excited about this and then I think, oh Lord, uh, I, 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 I'm, it seems like the more I know, the less I know. <laughs> the more I learn, the less I know, you know? 
because it's so vast. God is vast. The Holy Spirit is vast. Jesus is vast. And there is not anything uh, too difficult for him. There's nothing impossible with him. But our trust has to be in him. He is the one that walks and does the impossible. We are the one that thanks him, believes it, receives it, and operates our faith by speaking forth that which we have believed and received and let him do the impossible. Of course it's not possible for me to do it, so why in my mind try go and try to figure out how it's going to be done? It's so already, we've already acknowledged it's impossible. So don't go there in your mind and try to figure out how it's going to be done. Just thank God I belong to you, Father God. You're the God of impossibilities, and you're causing it to happen. Yeah, you don't have to know how. Thank you, Lord. He's an expert on the subject. He Amen. does. He knows how. Amen. Just let him be who he is in you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God. Glory to God. So we must allow ourselves to be who God is. Who God is. Who God is, and He is love. Amen. Therefore, we are love. Amen. And we walk in the fullness of it yes. every day of our lives. Amen. Every day of our lives, we must walk in the fullness of it. And you know, the fullness of the love of God brings us into um, thinking the same. <laughs> And when we're walking in love and we're thinking the same, that brings us into unity. And when we're operating in unity, a lot more happens. A lot more happens. God's will is continually performed. (laughs) Hallelujah. (laughs) And that's what he desires for us to be that way, as he has said, so that his will is continually being fulfilled in this earth. Hallelujah. That is his desire. He said, I am here. Receive of me. He says, I am here. Receive of me. I I love that. (laughs) Hallelujah. And because he is here, I can receive of him. Glory to God. Everything he has for me, everything he says about me, the way he sees me, That's how, who, and where, and what I am. (laughs) Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As my dad used to say, I don't know if you've helped me or not, but it helped you or not, but sure have helped me. (laughs) Glory to God. Why? Because the word of God is going forth, and the Holy Spirit's flowing. Yes. Yes, it's It's the goodness of God. It's the fullness of God flowing in this earth that causes us to move forth as he says. So take hold of his fullness. Take hold of who he is and move and walk in this earth as he has said and you will see things change. You will see things change. Yes, we are here for a purpose. And that purpose is for everyone to see Jesus, to see the Father God, and know that there is a helper in the Holy Spirit. So receive, accept, and walk in it, and then the world will definitely change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because they see truth, they hear truth, and they see the results of truth, which is signs and wonders, and miracles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, my, 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 my. <laughs> you know, I, when I, I think about this, I just think, Lord, Lord, I've done so little. Help me, Lord, to be stronger, to do more. We all need to have that desire to be stronger, to do more. And how do we do that? By operating and staying in his presence. 
listening to the Holy Spirit, staying full of the Holy Ghost, staying full of the Word of God, so that any instant, any place you are, anybody you're with, you can immediately speak forth the truth which is freeing, which is delivering, which is helping, and changing all the time. Amen. All the time. Changing things, changing people all the time. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Whew. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I think we're very clear, and God's made it very clear what He desires of us. Amen. Right? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. He made it very clear what He desires of us. He made it very clear who we are and how we are to operate. Whew. The key for us is having the want to and being willing. <laughs> having the want to and being willing. Mm. I don't know about you, but I have the want to and I'm willing. I want to follow God in every aspect that He has for me, and I am definitely willing to move forth and to do whatever He says, go wherever He says go, and say whatever He says say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he is almighty God. <laughs> oh, and he is more than enough. Oh, so my life is Yes, fullness, fullness, fullness. Fullness, fullness, fullness. We must seek to walk in his fullness. He is saying we, you must seek to walk in my fullness to walk in that which I have already designed and prepared for you and I have have ministered to you this morning through my servant that which I desire so I say unto you take heed take hold and move forth in that which I desire in this day and you will not only see change in your life you will ch see change in the world around you and you will see change in the world as a whole because you make the decision to walk in my fullness and be who I have said you are and how you are to be. <laughs> yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for encouraging us, Lord. Thank you for speaking to us and telling us, Father, what we need and how we need to operate, what we need to say. Oh, I thank you, Lord. You don't leave us helpless. <laughs> Understand, he does not leave us helpless. He gives us definite direction today on how to walk and what to do and why. Hallelujah. My, 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 my. I, I, whoo. That makes me excited. Makes me excited. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. God is working, folks. He's working all the time, and we need to get in step with him so that we are his hands and feet working, causing it to come forth on this earth. Hallelujah. That's what he says, causing it to come forth on this earth. Ha, let's do a bati frati la mo fratastria. Uh it's still a bati frosti loba ha ha. Ah, but I can sound the loba. I saw the breast to the beast to be. Who, mama, mama, me stood to bah. A la bota breast to the beha. Yes, this is so far. Yes, this is so far, but a baya. Ha. A la bofra de breast. Ella bofa di bishti le bishti bofti. Ani konfa ta sti. Ani konfa da fi. Oh, sti le bofa te de stonda le baha. Ella barangi shunna ma. Ne koro. Ne le. Ella bat. Umbrev te ne stonda de ishti. Oh, yes, o to, 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 to. Ne sutu lo baha si. Uh, 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 u
like sus for like seite. Aha, as I say, so. As I say, so for like seite, back at first liebe. Sind it all a little go pressed the liebe, sees the liebe, no go shoot or no, but I can see the bear. Lima la cosun and air mate de de bus, no, but I can see the bear bus there. Yes, 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 in a little coat to the local, but it a matter of a key matter city. Oh, yes, suto lobaha. Oh, yes, si flete brastia. So began to see, began to see, began to see that which I am saying operating in this in this earth in this world, begin to see that I am doing what I say I am doing. Begin to see uh, the greatness, uh, uh, oh, the, the, uh, oh, the greatness, the greatness, <laughs> the greatness of me <laughs> in this earth. Begin to see, begin to see, begin to see all that I am doing and desire to do in this earth. Oh, stola ha. It is not lax, but it is strong what I desire. Oh, yes. So see, see, see that I am moving and that I am working. And as you see, <laughs> and as you see, you will begin to understand. And as you understand, then you can begin to move with me <laughs> in my greatness. In my greatness, I am great, don't you see? Oh, and I desire you to move with me in my greatness in this earth. And my will shall be established and fulfilled. Oh, la ba 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 shita beka ba shita ba ha. So na la pe fisha, es se sape te frista. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, church, he's beckoning us. Anabaha so fatia. He's beckoning us, church, to come and walk in greatness as he with him. And see what he sees. <laughs> Not what the world sees, but what he sees. You see his greatness and you walk in his greatness with him. Oh, he's calling, he's beckoning us to come to see and to walk with him. Oh, Hamasia. Hamasia. Who my shape up, Papa? See. Mm. Oh, oh, the vastness. Oh, the vastness. of his greatness, of his work, and all that he is saying and doing. Oh, Astula Basia. Oh, and I just keep hearing him say, come, come walk with me in my greatness. Come, come, come walk with me in my greatness. <laughs> Oh, yes. 
Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, we will. We will, we will. Oh, yes, we will take hold of your beckoning and walk with you in your greatness, Lord. <laughs> oh, la presti le be fishy. Oh, la presti le be Say, bro, so to to paha. Yes, Lord, we thank you for boldness to step forth. We thank you for boldness to step forth and walk with you in your greatness. Because ah. great things we shall do in your greatness. Great things we shall do in your greatness. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Oh, my, my, my. Yes, Lord. <clears throat> oh, my. Yes, Lord. How many of you can say... Yes, I shall see and I shall walk Amen. with God in his greatness. Amen. 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 I shall. I am seeing, I shall see, and I walk with God in his greatness. <laughs> God's not finished with us, folks. <laughs> Age has nothing to do with it. It all has to do with your purpose and the will of God in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. And he has beckoned us this day to come with him to see what he sees and to walk with him in his greatness. And as you walk with him in his greatness, then great things shall flow from you in your life and from you to others. Amen? Amen. Because he is a good God. He is a great God. And he is moving in his greatness at this time. Uh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. He is moving. Hmm. He is moving. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm glad I came today, aren't you? <laughs> Nothing else, just experience the precious move of the Holy Spirit and the sweet flow of the Lord speaking to us, gently saying to us what he desires and knowing that we can and will do it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. I, I, I don't want to get out of this presence, but I, I, this is so precious. <laughs> so precious. So precious. But I know. <laughs> Hallelujah. Pastors, I just heard this. The Lord said, you think you're busy now? Just wait. <laughs> you think you're busy now? Just wait. Not long. You don't have to wait long. But prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. My spirit is moving mightily and quickly in this earth. And so don't, 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 don't delay 
in, in, in looking for, for that special place. Because this, this, this is not big enough for what he, he says, this is not big enough for what I'm doing and what shall continue in your ministry and in your life. So get ready, listen, be ready, and move. That's what he's saying. Get ready, be ready, and move. <laughs> and that which I have asked of you, <laughs> you have the grace to do. Hallelujah. Grace and more grace upon you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Grace and more grace upon you. Hallelujah. That's what I heard the Spirit of God say. Grace and more grace upon you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Grace and more grace. Woo, grace and more grace. Solo ba te frastia. Grace and more grace. Le cite le upon you. Yes. Le cite and more grace upon you. <laughs> yes. Ha ha. Praise you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> oh, grace and more grace. And in that grace, what fun. <laughs> in that grace, what rejoicing. Of all that he's doing, and all that you shall see. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord forever. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aren't you glad you came today? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. I'm done for now, Pastor. Hallelujah. Whew. stand up today, shall we? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I too am glad that I came to church today. And I'm so glad she didn't change her message. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, we're not going to take a lot of time dismissing, just to let you know, of course, 6 o'clock tonight. Uh, I would uh, maybe show up a little earlier. I'm sure we'll have some visitors tonight. We've got people, of course, going to their home churches this morning. And uh, if I could encourage you, just, you know, when you get in your car to go home out of these atmospheres, don't be so quick just to turn on the radio or listen to a CD. The Holy Spirit will minister to you on the way home. And uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. So, Father, we thank you today. We're so grateful for the presence of the Holy Ghost. We thank you, Father, for ministering to your people, to your sheep. Thank you for the servant of God that shared her heart with us and manifest the things of the spirit to us we thank you for it we thank you for each member here lord keep them safe today protect them keep them other till we return to this place this evening 
We thank you for it in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is so good to us. God bless you. Thank you, Lord.